Hey all, welcome. This is going to be a quick and simple one. Look at this brush designer evolution in Art Rage 6. This is a pretty big deal, I think. Um, I'm going to load up some grains that I have. Uh, grains just being basically like a surface texture. Um, and I have this like canvas surface texture that I have. Uh, you know, you can download these from wherever. They're all over the internet. And I have a brush head. And you can go load your brush head. And these are basically just black field with like a white shape that that white shape becomes effectively the stamp of the brush as you drag it across the surface and the spacing is called the dab spacing so you can have the spacing be kind of spread out it looks something like that or you can have this spacing set to zero where it means that it's a fully extended strip of just continuous stamping so every pixel is covered with pigment and you can change the opacity, which means it makes it more or less transparent. Jitter is going to kind of scatter the orientation of the spacing. So basically, like, the stroke isn't going to be as clean as this one. Notice it's kind of looks fogged because it's that stamp is getting rotated little by little, right, along the way. So um, that's kind of what that does. But here's the real, and there's grain and scale and all that kind of stuff. Then there's like taper and smoothing, which I don't really like to play with very much. And then there's eraser mode, which is awesome. So you can, for the first time, create custom eraser shapes and have something other than just the big soft or big hard eraser. So that's that's pretty big deal. Um, also, if you go in here, this is the textural component of the brush. This is all awesome stuff. Look at this. Um, my loading right now is set to 2%. If I was to kick that up to like 37%, I get something that reminds you, or should remind you if you're familiar with ArtRage, to the oil brush. The oil brush is like your, your mark has a volume and texture according to the bristle that you set. And with my custom brush head, you can see how that participates in that volumetric brush stroke. This is a game changer. What this means is that Every artist out there can create their own brush bristle and brush texture and brush properties that have all of the assets of the oil brush, but now you can do it in your own way with your own tools and your own custom vibe. So this to me is literally like, I'm not exaggerating, it's a game changer, right? Because there was a certain limitation to the parameters that were available to you in ArtRage 5 when designing your own brush based around what you could do in the oil brush settings. Here, the sky is the limit. And, and it was already good. The brush designer was already really good in ArtRage 5, but now with this whole set of buttons, I can not only change the thickness of the mark and the, the volume of the mark and the, the brush impasto basically the medium how thick the medium is but i can also change the gloss of the medium make it flat like a gouache painting or it can make it shiny like an oil painting and um i can change you know various features of this but this is enough right now just play with that go find um some brush heads that you like um, these are from my buddy Kevin. I, he always gets into making this kind of stuff and creating sets of these and so I don't ever have to do the work of this. But um, you can go find them online or you can create your own. You could make an ArtRage file that's a, a black square and then you can kind of paint your own bristle texture with white, uh, like a white mark making tool, whether it's oil brush or whatever. And then you can use that as your own custom brush head that you import in the brush designer. Do the same thing with grains, whatever you want to do. Um, I just thought that this was such a key thing um, in the launch of ArtRage 6. Eraser mode, brush volume, like the paint texture, the paint volume, and the ability to edit all this stuff all on your own. Just just amazing. So if you look at this, you can see how nicely this plays with the texture that I have in my canvas and how cool this is going to be if I try to utilize something like this for this gouache painting that I'm going to try to replicate in digital painting. So hopefully you enjoy it. Um, the next video I put up will probably be this one, me painting this, probably doing it as a speed paint, nothing detail oriented, just kind of in that a la prima style. So Hopefully you check that out as well. Um, 
you can check out links to, to how to buy Art Rage 6. You can check out links on, on how to support through Patreon. You can check out links to the, how these, you know, where these paintings up, end up on Instagram or uh, Facebook or whatever. Um, but, you know, I appreciate you checking this out and I'm glad that um, we get to explore this together. And I'm super eager to see what talented brush makers out there create as far as brush sets for various mediums and, and tools. So it's going to be pretty exciting to see. And uh, thanks so much for checking it out, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. All right. Best wishes.